So I picked up this uh, GPS module, GNS module from Micro Center. It's a Mublox uh, M9 series, a new one it looks like. Uh, it's got a U.FL connector on it. it has a U USB-C that does power and data. Typically, I've only used the M8 and earlier, and I've done all my communications through UART, but it plugs right into the computer. It's powered by it, and uh, you can load up um, Mu Center or Micro Center and look at the uh, data streaming off the thing. And I've got this uh, U.FL to SMA female cable and then an SMA uh, barrel connecting off to the antenna. Yeah, I ended up, uh, when I plugged this thing, it was getting pretty hot. Uh, I ended up pulling this bias inductor right here. Uh, normally, the Mublox modules have current limit. And you can see that the bias is sourced from the Mublox module through this resistor. It's got a bypass cap that goes back through this inductor, forming the bias T right here. But it was getting really hot. Uh, I don't know why. The M8 uh, series modules I've used always have current limiting built in and then a, a sense to automatically uh, turn the bias off if it, if it senses a short to ground, you know, because the antenna is DC shorted. So i uh, not sure what was going on here, but maybe that can be configured in the Mu Center software. But I went ahead and removed that, and it seems to be working fine now. Yeah, I should also point out that, you know, Obviously, this is an edge mount antenna, so the thing would be designed to fit right in the edge of the, uh, the board that contains the GPS module. And you can see it would fit if this red board were extended slightly. The things you're going to have to watch out for is when this ground plane is reduced, you're typically going to go move up in resonant frequency because it's pulling less of the fields out of the uh, dielectric, and you will also typically lose efficiency. So uh, typically what I'll do is sometimes uh, prototype it and start cutting on it and then retune it as needed, or really you need to do that in the simulation itself, account for the uh, smaller finite ground plane. Uh, the other thing you also have to watch out for is uh, near field coupling to uh, noisy circuitry like a switching supply, run into problems like that. Many times you'll have a switching supply on here, and that is uh, the typically the input to the switching supply has an extremely fast rise time switch probably in the you know hundreds of pico, 100 picoseconds or so and that's going to generate broadband noise every time that thing switches which is going to you know desense the gps receiver especially if the near field is coupling over and it's on the same board all right i've got the uh antenna outside now hooked to the gps module it's got a c by n knot of uh almost about 40 db that the c by n knot is the carrier to noise density ratio so uh uh, above 40 is is pretty good uh, typically you know that's no problem getting cold starts in under 30 seconds uh, you know typically you want to be uh, in the high 30s or above 40 uh, not below 35 really it's really marginal there but this antenna seems to work very good I configured the Mublox software or configured the module to uh, I disable all the constellations except GPS uh, if I can go back in and uh, I've never played with the M9 modules before, only the M8s and earlier, so this is somewhat new to me, but uh, but it looks pretty good. It's getting a ton of satellites and we're getting a 3D fix, uh, no issues. Now I can go back in and uh, go to the configuration view. Go in here to the GNSS and enable Galileo. Baidu, the Japanese system, and GLONASS, and then send that. Oops, there we go. And now it's going to cold start again and start picking up, should start picking up these other systems. There we go. Let me close the configuration view. Now you can see it's picking up uh, uh, Baidu and uh, Galileo, GLONASS. The C by N is going to go down again. It's the C by N knot of uh, the, all the satellites that it sees, even the ones it's not tracking. So uh, what I'll typically do is tell the go in and configure it for GPS only and tell it to only choose six satellites, turn off all the receivers except six, then it will pick the strongest satellites and I'll get a better reading for C by a not, but this thing seems to be working uh, working pretty good.